Good morning, fellow superheroes. My name's Sharon and I'm here to tell you about a superhero we find in our Bibles. Our Bible is full of superheroes, people who do amazing things that can teach us so much. Last time we met at Holiday Club, we learned all about Ruth and what an amazing superhero she was. But don't worry if you didn't attend last time because I didn't either. And this week, our superhero is someone completely different. Last time we learnt about superhero Ruth, who was around many, many years before Jesus. This time, our superhero lives at the same time as Jesus. And not only that, he gets to know pretty Jesus pretty well. So we jump into the New Testament part of our Bible and we find out about our superhero there. His name is Peter. So today, our superhero theme is about making choices. We make choices every day, don't we? Sometimes it's as simple as what we have for breakfast. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult, like what we have to wear. Sometimes that can be quite tricky. But other times we have to make difficult choices and those choices impact our lives. So today, let's find out what choice Peter first makes for us to think about. So Peter, we pick up Peter and his brother Andrew were fishermen. That's what they did for a living. And all night they'd been out on the lake in their boat doing their job. And all night while they were out on the lake, they caught absolutely nothing, not one fish. Pretty rubbish, eh? Is there not even one fish in the lake? Peter groaned. Looks like we're going back to shore with nothing, absolutely nothing, not one fish. And so back to shore they went, tired from a long night, <gasps> oh, and disappointed and sad that they had caught absolutely nothing, not even one fish. Peter and his brother Andrew collected their nets and hauled them onto dry land. And as they began fixing holes and clearing seaweed and dirt from the nets, they looked a short way from along the beach and noticed that there was a crowd gathering and they were coming towards them. Peter, what have you done now? said Andrew to his brother, expecting him to have offended some of the locals. Me? Nothing. Why are you always accusing me? responded Peter in a fairly surprised tone, as if he didn't know what his brother was on about. As their people made their way nearer and nearer, it was clear that they were all following one man. They just kept following. Someone must have caught their attention in one way or another. Someone must have been worth listening to. Someone must have been worth following. The man's name was Jesus. <coughs> They're still coming with this way, Peter. Are you sure you haven't done something to upset any of these people? Will you give it a rest? Responded Peter to his brother, who was always trying to wind him up. So Peter and Andrew, the fishermen, continued cleaning their nets as the crowd got closer and closer, following the one man. His name was Jesus. Jesus then came to them. He approached Peter and said to him, do you mind if I talk to the crowd from your boat? And so Peter and his brother Andrew got in the boat with Jesus and pushed out a little from shore so he could talk to the people. When Jesus was done, he said to Peter, let's go out a bit further into the lake and let down some nets to catch some fish. Now, if you remember, Peter and Andrew had been out fishing all night and they'd caught absolutely nothing, not one fish. We've worked hard all night, said Peter. We've caught absolutely nothing, not one fish. <coughs> But because you say so, we'll go and do it. And so they sailed out into deep water. They took hold of their nets and cast them over the edge of the boat. 
Only a matter of seconds later, their net started to move. The boat swayed and swayed and rocked from side to side and fish were gathering in the nets like no other time before. In fact, so many fish gathered in the nets that the nets began to stretch and stretch and stretch and break. Nearby was another boat with two other fishermen. Their names were James and John. James! John! shouted Peter. Get over here! Come and help us, please! Both boats then loaded the immense catch of fish onto the deck. They had never seen so many fish. The boats were so heavy with fish that they began to sink. Peter was frozen in sheer amazement with what just had happened and falling to his knees in front of Jesus he said leave me alone Lord I am a sinful man. Jesus just looked at Peter and calmly said to him don't be afraid follow me from now on you will fish for people and that was that the fishermen Peter his brother Andrew James and John they left the boats they left the nets and everything else that they owned and immediately followed Jesus. <coughs> <coughs> wow, what a story, what a choice Jesus had. He showed today's superhero power of making choices and deciding to follow Jesus, to do all that Jesus asked of him. You know, we're also given that same choice. Do we follow Jesus? Do we say yes to be his friend and obey all that he asks of us? Our superhero Peter reminds us that Jesus remains with us in the good and in the bad decisions that we make. And as we find out from Peter, sometimes Peter gets it wrong. So who's our new superhero? Superhero Peter. And what's our superhero theme? Making choices especially in making the decision to follow Jesus. Have a great day, superheroes.